Hello Collective and welcome to the Humble Sage. If you're new here, be welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you're returning, thank you for supporting the channel. It helps us to grow and get the messages out to more in the Collective. This is going to be a general message, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And it's a timeless message, so whenever it finds you, it's for you at that time. Let's get stuck in, Collective. As I was just doing a shuffle, huge pre-shuffle, it came out with the Magician and the Ten of Cups. Whatever you're manifesting, they couldn't stop it. Just know that. The Nine of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is going to sound odd, Collective. But it's like somebody here is in despair. See this, the white here and the white here. Like somebody's in despair because they gave to a wrong situation. And this could be anything. This could speak about work, family. But it's like they can't believe it. They can't believe whatever happened here because... The scales of justice, yeah. The moon in reverse. The nine, excuse me, the knight of cups and the three of swords in reverse. Wow. Something was revealed to this person, right? And with a major here, it could have been, with the moon especially, it could have been something that came from their higher mind, but also it could have been a revelation, like a dream or something like that. Like their intuition was right the entire time, but they didn't want to listen to it. And they gave to a situation which actually wasn't fulfilling, but in some way here, it's the universe is correcting that. Something along those lines? Yeah, like they seem to be at a loss. Financially, it could be. Resources, perhaps. But this, with the, the three of swords at the end, like they're seeing the truth. Perhaps they're seeing something like that they were, that their idea of love was off with the rain there, you know? That there's no sun there to create a rainbow. Like their idea was off in the first place because it takes the sun and the rain both to create a rainbow, the right circumstances. So it could speak about perhaps it just wasn't the right time or the timing was off. Yeah, there's something here about, there's something here about a group of people, right? A group of people that felt they were celebrating because of somebody's demise here. Like they were pleased to see this person in this state of disarray. They wanted to see them with no opportunities, especially financial and resources. Or they're trying to take that now. They wanted to see this person with no finances, no wisdom, right? no stability. And this could literally speak about doing rituals or spell work or something like that. They wanted to make sure that this person didn't receive any love. No love offer. And because this is here, see the white here, right? It's somebody who perhaps was a part of a coven, right? Or they, because in the background, it's like they're secretly a part of it somehow. I'm sure we'll get to that, right? This is interesting. Because this is not necessarily a masculine energy that was speaking about that gave to the wrong situation. Right. This can speak about anybody in any dynamic here. And that's what it feels like. It doesn't. I'll be honest with you. It doesn't feel like a masculine. It doesn't feel like a divine masculine, a masculine. It doesn't even feel like a high level soulmate. It feels like someone. It doesn't feel like a healer or, or like. Um, it feels like somebody who was an initiate, someone new to this coven. Right. Somebody who was supposed to be, or was initiated. 
and they're in despair here. Like, if they can see what has happened here, or they knew the entire time, because just because this energy here, which feels like this, right, just because they've got their back turned, that doesn't mean to say, indeed, it's like they turn their back to justice. They turn their back to doing the right thing here. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a masculine energy. I'll be honest with you, collective. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like no matter what happened here, they wanted to make sure that they were in a good place. And they were only in a good place to know that this, whoever they were aiming at, this person here, was, was broken. That's all they wanted. That's all they wanted to see was this person in lack, like destroyed. Yeah, that they wouldn't, that they couldn't focus on their world, like leaving them in a state of fight or flight mode. Yeah, and exactly at the bottom of the deck, they were working with this coven. They were working with, it could be multiple covens here, right? And you can see here, even, I don't know if you can see on camera, but just on their face there, there's a little bit of red. And it could speak about they were enjoying some of the fruits of this labor, but they weren't quite one of them yet. Hence the white. You know, they were a neopet or something like that, where they were, it was a new endeavor for them. We'll find out who this person is shortly. But in the meantime, Yeah, they blocked, they did something in the collective. They did something to block, to create some level of, some blockage. It's to, I don't typically read that, read that as that card as that as a reader, but that's what it feels like. It's like their task was to create a blockage for this person and to create illusions. Yeah, exactly. So that somebody wouldn't follow their intuition, but that blockage is now being removed. Okay, we've got the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles in, re in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands in reverse, and at the end here, we've got the Page of Swords. Straight up collective, the Queen of Pentacles, can, this feels like a karmic parent, or a, like a karmic mother, or a karmic partner. And it feels like a feminine energy. You see what I'm saying, Collective, how it felt like a feminine energy. It doesn't feel like a masculine. It doesn't feel like a divine masculine. It doesn't feel like, like a masculine, like a male or female in physical gender, right? It feels like that this is, it, we're talking about physical gender now. This feels like a mother or a karmic wife, something like that. It could be both because here we're talking about a group of people. So this could just be one person from it, yeah. They tried to create blockages, but now somebody's in the upright here. Like it feels like this person perhaps, because when we look at this going forward, all this hard work to turn someone's world upside down is now being seen. And to have this at the end, it's like, well, now this person is protected, whoever this is. And this, whoever this is, you see how they're in the upright? And the this helmet is saying, it's like, um, I'm with Mercury, the wings of Mercury here. It's like they've received some communication here. Something was enlightened to them. And now the visor has been lifted. They can see clearly, they can see the cup clearly. Wow, what a, what? Okay, we'll keep on going. What? These, in, these readings get more and more interesting. Do you know what, Collective? If you are enjoying the reading, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the message to reach further into the Collective. At the bottom of the deck here, we've got the High Priestess and the Six of Wands. Yeah, someone, this says to me that someone here, because the high priestess can rule this energy. They know the lay of this land, that the king and queen of, of cups. 
basically. This is Cups energy. Somebody followed their intuition. This feels separate to this energy, by the way, collective. These two feels like the disparate energies. But they both have good intention. Or they both were not, they didn't know about any of this. And it's at the, because the Four of Wands is at the end here. This says to me that it's their world. And you see here how the two ones are this side and the two ones are this side. It's like, say the two ones are part of this person's world. So the two of ones can speak about dominion. So when we look at it, it's this person's dominion, like this person's realm and this person's realm that they tried to destroy separately. And they tried to keep apart with the castle in the background. It's like it was a it was some construct, like um it feels like a a lot here, like a lot of it, like there's a construct again, you see? See all these cups here, the three of cups here. It feels like a like a lot of people wanted to get their two cents in to whatever's happening with these two people. But these two see the truth of it, whoever I'm reading for. Or if you're watching the reading for somebody else collective. Yeah, the truth has been spoken here. Right? This truth speaker is a high priestess. Like a real high priestess. Somebody who's connected to this realm anyway. So possibly while this was happening. And this and this person here who's in the Knight of Cups energy. Which doesn't necessarily mean immaturity at all. Right? This is Pisces energy can be that somebody followed their intuition. And this is also a cup. This person also followed their intuition because they were connect with the, connected with the universe, with the tree here, right? And it's like this person's willing to go the distance. They're willing to cross the river. It's the victory here. There's something, to, there's something didn't go right for these people. And that's the reason what's caused this despair. They were being guided by what they thought perhaps was something pure. And by pure, I mean, if they summoned an entity, these covens, it could be that it was an imposter spirit that they were working with. Like they didn't, like they didn't think they were as slick as they thought they were, in other words. Like, and if it was that, like they were led astray and so, or somebody, Somebody purposely, because the white of that creature, that animal, the terrier, which today looks kind of hungry, you can see its ribs and everything. It's that these people were driven by greed. That's what this is. These people were driven by greed. And you can see how there isn't, there's a cornucopia there, but it's not overflowing. These people were driven by a state of lack. They thought that they were going to miss out on something if something to do with these two. But we'll have a look. We'll have a deep dive in and we'll see what's what. But that's what was driving them. Oh, the hangman here. Let's keep going. Interesting. When we see the safe collective in the center, it's very interesting. We've got the moon, the ace of pentacles, and the eight of pentacles. Right? Whatever they did, whatever this was, maybe it's moon magics. Right, they and um, whatever rain down that they thought was going to happen here, right? Actually, it looks like it was alchemized in some way. Like they worked incredibly hard on all of this, but there are no pentacles after that. I mean, yeah, we've got the four of pentacles here, but that four of pentacles came out after the page of swords, after it's been revealed. That's what this feels like. It was seen from a higher mind here. Like somebody saw through it. This entire time. And it's almost like over this side now, right? Say now this is 
what they what they were doing, their intentions. This is what they thought was going to happen. And then here is actually, they tried to create this to divide two people's worlds so that this couldn't happen. But there is, in the end, there's healing. There's a sense of healing by knowing the truth means that these two entities, these two energies, whoever they are, can heal. Because they see the truth and actually they were in the upright. But maybe it's that they were being led astray. It's somehow there's so much spell work. Like with the, look at this, with the moon magics, with the wand, with these covens, mate, with this money here. Like, is that they tried everything in their power. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse could have been the core of it. Yeah, because they saw the truth. I've never read it like that. I've never divided it like that, ever, ever as a reader. So it's interesting how that's come up today. Crystals ever recollected. Judgment. Yeah, let's have a look. The Four of Cups. They don't lie. With this Cancerian energy, the moon, the moon here in Cancer, right? What they don't like is the fact that while they're in despair is that the abundance is coming anyway. Is that by following their intuition, by following their intuition, they followed their heart. Cancerian speaks about the heart. These people followed their heart anyway, no matter what. Here we've got the Ten of Wands, the Five Year. It's see what I'm saying, collective? What did I just say? You saw me shuffle this. I can't make this up, right? We've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Wands in the upright. It's just created oppression for them. Whatever they did behind the scenes, whatever this was, just created oppression for them. Their Saturnian return is to suffer this. With Sagittarius energy, it can be like, that can be adventure, but this feels like they're trapped. They're trapped within their own fire energies. They're trapped within their own spell work, even. Their own doing. Their own intentions. Whatever their intentions were have now trapped them entirely and they can't get out of it. Here, with the moon in reverse, the five of pentacles. They've literally put themselves in a state of lack and they thought they were leaving these people in lack. That's not so. Actually, they left themselves in lack because look what comes next here, collective, right? We've got the knight of cups and the two of cups, right? And then after that, we've got this healing and the foolish man, it's a new beginning. There's some sort of new start that's here. And what it's being guided by is the purity of the intention behind it with fire here and air, right, within this card. It, this can speak, even though it's Uranus energy, you can speak about all of the elements to me because it's gathering yourself and starting again, right? It's like a new start is coming, but not from a state of lack, like perhaps in the past, but instead from a place of freedom. Excuse me a second, can I By the way, Collective, this reading is timeless, but for anybody in the UK at the moment, it actually I just went um, New Year's. So Happy New Year's to all of you. I wish you a blessed, prosperous and happy New Year. Let's keep going. Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah. This. They didn't think that these two would ever stand in their power that they would ever see the situation. The Queen of Wands is someone who is unapologetically themselves. They don't need to be assertive. They simply are. They walk into a room. Let's know that they're there, right? Male or female in physical gender or transitioning. To have that on the split, and there they are. They came back again. And Six of Swords. A victory is being had here because the protection you see what I'm saying? With this Ten of Wands, see all this, the fire that's within that? It's here as well, all around this. It's like they're trapped within that, and this is being protected here by the universe. Or the universe is literally raining down fire in some way. Let's have a look at this Three of Cups collective. Please excuse the chihuahua barking in the background. What's a little protector is. This Three of Cups here, the Three of Wands, what did I just say, Collective? 
established strength. These people were working together. See the ones? They were all working together in tandem, right? And judgment is here. Judgment in some way is here. And on the judgment card is the player sign as well. There's some level of reckoning that's coming here. And with this ace of wands in reverse, with the four of swords, the nine of wands on the ace of pentacles in reverse, the four of cups in the upright with the hierophant, and the ten of cups, the emperor, right? This, this ace of wands in reverse they tried to create has left them sort of lacking, not just lacking, but they, they, can't, they can't do it anymore. Whatever it was, it's been stopped by the universe. This ace of pentacles here with the nine of wands, right? They put a lot of effort into this. They put a lot of effort, a lot of fire energy, and that is why they're stuck in this ten, because this can speak about Yesod, and this is the Malchut. This is what they manifested for themselves. This doesn't feel like a wounded warrior or potential today. This feels like all the energy that they thought was going to rain down from all the moon magics they did, from whatever energies they were calling upon, from higher realms, and here it is. But what actually happened is it helped these two energies. This person, this was like a person, this person here now sees love, right? Because they followed their intuition in some way. If it's not love, it can be like a whole new beginning for themselves because you've got the fool here, like I said just now, but it's coming from a state of someone, something that's wholesome, right? It's not coming from like a broken place. It's coming from a place of healing, right? Like a new start. Here, this four of cups, the person in this card is actually a hierophant energy, somebody with esoteric knowledge. It's someone who, when we saw the high priestess energy earlier, it's like both of those combined can speak about a true high priest and a true high priestess. The true high priestess is already connected to the universe. The, high, the hierophant understands spiritual praxis, right? How to put those lessons into practice a spiritual teacher, perhaps. And over here, then, this Six of Cups with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of my favourite in the deck. And this can speak about integrity. It can speak about loyalty. And that's what's coming in here. And the Emperor at the end, with Judgment, the Chariot. Wow. Let's keep going, Collective. This is getting more and more interesting. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. We're going to do another clarification. I want to see more. The fool. The emperor. What did I just say? This fool up here, right? This fresh new beginning. So this could speak about that this is a divine masculine counterpart. Uh, male or female in physical gender, you know, but it's whoever encompasses the emperor energy. They are seeking out a new beginning because it's here. But that's the reason why the universe, when it came out to the end, I kept on shuffling and shuffling. And I was like, we'll just go on to the next card and the universe brought it back. They were working against this emperor, right? And this queen of pentacles being here with the emperor here, whoever this queen of pentacles was, they tried to block this emperor or try to like, like trap them here it could be they try to trap them within it could be they try to trap them here within this construct of being in a state of lack too much maybe celebrate and something like that maybe too much part or something like that and actually what has happened here this person has evolved they're no longer in a night energy per se but they're in an emperor energy. That's all four kings in one. This person failed. This, this is what it feels like. It feels like a failure because if they're in this energy, what they wanted for these two entities, then it's what I'm saying, the king of cups. They've evolved in some way, indeed, with the hangman here, seeing things from a higher state of mind, which possibly they already had. They already had this knowledge. They were already incredibly intuitive. I just didn't want to see something for what it was. This is really interesting, Collective. Let's keep going. The Queen of Pentacles here. Let's have a card for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. 
three cards wanted to come out. We won't take all of those. We've got the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. They were manipulating them with money or something like that. And trying to keep them in a state of worry about money. Is there something along those lines? Keeping them in a state of worry and lack, thinking they needed more and more and more and more. Yeah. The Queen of Pentacles with the Hermit. This could be a Virgo energy. And if it's not, it's someone who was hiding their hand. Because somebody in the true Hermit energy shares that with the world. They share that wisdom with the world. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's something they kept hidden. The King of Wands in reverse. This could be an occultist. This could be somebody they worked with. The Hermit can also speak about a spiritual counsel. So it could be that they were utilizing spiritual counsel from some King of Wands here. This could be like, um, you see here, it's like, I'm with the fire energy. There's something here about they reached out to an occultist. This could be a witch doctor, an occultist. Um, and it feels like a male. It feels like a male as well, right? They reached out to somebody here. And they did something in the shadows and they thought it was a done deal because the hermit, that wisdom, once you have that wisdom, it's true wisdom, it's pure wisdom. It doesn't just leave you. That's why you become a spiritual teacher because it's actually applicable. But they, what they didn't anticipate is that this energy was a hierophant and that this energy here would follow their intuition. Because you see, when you're in a low vibration, that's the only way really, not the only way, but the low vibrational magics work on you is because you're in a state of fear. But if you're no longer in a state of fear, it has nothing to latch onto. So it goes back to, it returns to sender. It goes back to the people that sent out the intention in the first place. King of Swords. Who's this? I just heard this person's been... Something like ended by the divine? Like so something's coming forward and like their reign has ended or something like that. It could be that because of the heinousness of what these people were doing, their gifts are being stripped from them. The lovers, what did I just say? They were working against, they were working against these people. They tried to keep them trapped tried to keep them stuck here with this chain right stuck to this this shit that they thought was going to lead to destruction but they let them they got out of it they were guided by the universe with the eight of wands receiving downloads intuitive dreams intuitive hits something let's have a look at this four of wands in reverse this they try to divide the dominion of these two yeah but there's victory now this is now possibly in the upright but I don't do that as a reader, right? Unless it's, but if, yeah, it feels like whatever they did didn't it didn't happen. Page of Swords. Let's keep going. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Whatever they tried to do, like the deceit was seen. The deceit is now out in the open. And the Two of Swords, Lord of Peace restored. Because they followed their intuition. There is no fear anymore. And if there's no fear, then these magics can't take sway. Look at this. Right? Whatever they did in the dark has been illuminated. And it was like, to have the hermit, the hermit can be someone who's in a cave. So we could literally be talking about like very, very dark work here. We could be talking about death spells. I mean, look at, I mean, come on. We've got the pentacle in reverse. That can speak about feminine energy. We've got the wand in reverse, masculine energy. So we could be talking about all sorts of magics here. Fertility, death. We could be talking about blood magics even. As like moon magics. 
the red here, blood magics and libation, right? These fruit could be libation as they're offering it up to the sky. Offerings, blood offerings, sacrifices. I just carried on shopping collected. We um let's have a look at this. I'm really I'm so intrigued with this. We're gonna have a look at the end over here. The nine of cups. The wheel of fortune, yeah. Over on this side, right, with these two here, like the Empress seems like behind enemy lines at one point. But now is over here in this energy. This fool has traveled over here and has seen the night. See this here? Has seen some sort of like some epiphany. Right? And is guarding and they're, they're in like it's like these now are in protecting their energies, protecting their inner elements. It could actually be literally protecting their resources, even. And the nine of cups here, wish fulfillment. The wheel of fortune. The ten of pentacles, yeah. Like on this, okay, okay. You want to be seen? The eight of wands, right, over here. There's something coming here on this side. We'll get to this side in a minute. I can't wait. We'll take out the ten of pentacles, even it belongs, it should be, it, it, it feels like it should be out on, on the deck. And you can see me shuffling this cards collective. Right, you can see me shuffling these. Okay. The chariot. The two of wands. The six of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles. Okay. The two of swords. And the Knight of Swords. The Hanky. They've been stopped in their tracks in Thailand. They tried to, this looks to me like they tried to get away, tried to use spell work here to get away with like stealing someone's success, like their light their abundance, like their, it could be their literal money here. But that's being blocked by the universe. And the Knight of Swords here, some level of communication has come in. Like they've, they've received some communication, could be from the universe, could be from whatever, some external body. Something has come in that's completely stopped them in their tracks. And with the Ankh in reverse, this could speak about the death to a situation. The crucifix here, I mean, if we want to take it to that point, we could be talking about literal death here. Like literal death is coming. Ooh. Let's get the witch's tower deck out. Let's have a dig. Spirit. Let's start with the four of cups. Pentacle. This was all about this is money. It was all about money. It's all about money. An opportunity. Like somebody wanted, or these people, what they wanted was growth. Remember, I said they felt they were in a state of lack. That's how you keep on going and going after other people. You know what I mean? Like, this is what they wanted. Like, look at this in the background. It looks like bliss. And they thought that money was going to bring them this. And now they're in despair. Because maybe they feel like, because somebody followed their intuition, they won't be getting that. Yeah. Who is this King of Wands? This King of Wands came out earlier, down here, remember, collective? Who is this King of Wands? Whoever this is, they're left in a state of lack. Whoever this king of wands is. The six of pentacles and the ten of wands. Let's have a look. The four of cups. Yeah, the four of cups came out here again. They're literally left in a state of apathy. 
they don't know what to do because they can see the decisions they made by turning perhaps a blind eye to justice or by not do by knowing they were doing the wrong thing that's left them now in a state of apathy yeah because they can only leave it behind or they've been left behind they've been seen as one of these empty cups yeah someone could be heading towards an empress congratulations if that's you collective if it speak about the convergence of someone's inner and masculine polarities that they've evolved as a person and therefore they can see things with clarity the moon and the five of pentacles the seven of cups yeah look at all this work they did even with this mage here look at all this work they did we can see familiars entities uh, property uh, happiness growth the mermaid the mermaid this mermaid that we saw here perhaps they were doing some sort of water magics and with the moon here you know moon ebb and flow water there's some connection here to the spell work and with the five of pentacles it was all for now yeah it was something against this two of cups this two of cups that came out over here that's the next card what on earth i've never had a reading that's as synchronistic as this one the two of cups there the two of cups here you know where the four of cups came out here the four of cups came out there then we have the seven of cups that came out with the mermaid that's connected to this one. Now at the bottom of the deck, we've got the two of cups that's connected to this two of cups here. This is saying like everything happened in the way that it was supposed to. Yeah, they tried to block this two of cups. Well, they tried to blind two people because the two of cups came out twice, so we can only say that it's two people. The Six of Wands, victory. The Six of Wands is down here as well, connected to this, what they tried to do down here, where they tried to destroy this union, perhaps for two people. But the Six of Wands down here saying it's happening, it's half here, it's confirming, it's like these, this person, yeah, because they see, they see the truth of the situation, they found balance. It could be something to do with an earth angel or something like that, or, or, or like um, a healer. We could speak about their inner wisdom as well, following their true inner wisdom, you know? That they realize that they perhaps are an earth angel or something like that. You know, they're here to help others. And this, as they were behind enemy lines, they were being led astray somehow. So they see their way through it. Congratulations if it's a divine masculine that's watching this, because remember, we said that this entity is an emperor this entity is an emperor so if we are talking about you know a divine masculine congratulations i don't just do readings for divine families i read for everyone even cross watchers you know what i mean there are some readers that say no cross watchers i mean what are you going to do jump to the screen and say don't watch it you know if they're going to watch it they're going to watch it if it you know if it puts them you know they're meant to see it they're meant to see it the fool yeah the devil card here this person can see whatever happened has been illuminated. And these people over here, they don't like it. They don't like that their, their crimes or whatever have been illuminated because it makes them look at themselves and who they truly are and what they did. Let's have a look at this three of ones with the, with the three of, exactly, the three and the three. See even how those two reflect each other? Three cups, three ones. Indeed, if you want to take it to that level of masculine and feminine, we could be talking about sex magic here, a cult of, that do sex magics, because the cups, the wands, it speaks for itself, right? And that's how they had dominion over this person, that maybe they were doing sex magics over them. Can you see them on YouTube? I don't know. But they, they were doing some sort of...
I haven't got another word for it. I'm just gonna leave that where it's going to. Yeah, the three of wands came out again. That's exactly what they were doing. Perhaps they were trying to control this person. Perhaps they were trying to control this emperor with um, illusions. With SEX magic. Or trying to control them with SEX. Something like that. Because this is Lord of Established Strength, right? And while they're given libation here, it can be like that's how they try to control them. With um, lust. Spirit, show me about this Ace of Wands in reverse and the Four of Swords. The Five of Wands. Whatever they did, they haven't just been stopped in their tracks, but those entities are perhaps haunting them and the universe. And swords can speak about the mind. So it's also their own mental conflict to contribute to that as well. Here, Jupiterian energy, they literally try to stop. Yeah, they try to stop the wheel. They try to interrupt somebody else's world. Ten of Wands. But they try to create a Ten of Wands for whoever this Hierophant energy is. But they're actually, it can be seen here that they've matured. Those struggles that they went through are now seen as lessons. And that is the reason why they can be seen as a spiritual teacher, because they actually went through hell to get to this point. And are now walking into perhaps the Ten of Cups. Yeah, and there's a knight. I can't make this up. The knight was just up there. It's like, these. this is connected. All of this is interconnected. Right, let's have a look at this Ten of Cups. The Empress. So we're talking, this, this entity here is not random, right? This is a divine, this is a divine pair we're looking at, the emperor and the empress here. And because they came out of different decks, it could be said they come from different worlds. But nonetheless, one is still an emperor and one is still an empress. They each have their own ability in their own right. Like, with their elements, they're equals. Which isn't obvious on the, on the outside, but these are two people that can highly resonate with each other. Let's have a look at this emperor here with the fool. Yes, yeah, someone here received a message or spoke the truth. That they were being protected to the cat here. The dog on this one looks all gangly today, right? It's that these people were driven by lack, so they tried to latch onto this emperor. However, this emperor has freed themselves because for me, this is ambition, right? In this case, they've spoken the truth about something or they've seen the truth. Yeah, the Knight of Cups here is definitely to do with the same one. Like, there's not a different entity. They're definitely the same. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the, the Six of Cups. That's what they tried to destroy. They worked with a group of people behind the scenes here. And you can see it as well. It's like, maybe they tried something that was built on integrity over here, and that's what they tried to destroy. And they knew it, that was the point. The lovers here. The nine. These two are free. It's like these two are now free from the confines. They, they're free to create within themselves. Self-actualization has kicked in. Those lessons are being learned. Right, the four of ones in reverse and the six of ones. Let's have a look. Ten of swords, yeah. It's the end of a painful cycle here. Something is coming to an end. And with the owl in the background, see that? It's like some level of wisdom is what came out of this. And that's the reason why there's this victory. 
This page of swords here connected with the seven of swords. The four of wands, yeah, what did I just say? This, earlier on I said this could be turned back around. Then we've got the six of wands with the ten of swords, right? The end of this painful cycle. And over here, with the page of swords and the seven of swords, like it was seen clearly and now the truth is being seen that this is the truth here. Yeah. Now the, it's, it's like all of those lessons need to be learned for something to come together, for something to happen, for this to happen. Someone's in a passionate energy there. The king of wands here, a different deck. It could be like a whole passionate new beginning. It could be something as well, like they're both entrepreneurial or both business owners or something like that. Um, both spiritual people, but maybe in just in different ways. Because the king of wands can be, it's a unit, but like the, 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 the king and queen of uh, wands, that's a realm of absolute. That doesn't just speak about spirituality, that can also speak about religion, it can also speak about um, having a higher mindset, you know, however you connect with the universe. The high priestess, yeah, however you connect with the universe. And that's up here with the Nine of Cups. Okay, so it's spirited. Okay. Yeah, what the universe is trying to show me here is the High Priestess and this Three and the King of Cups. The three was up here, the Three of Swords. Did I say the Three of Cups for some reason? Well, there we go. The Three of Cups there. They're now left in that state because they can see the truth. What did I say earlier about how when we have the Moon energy, the King and Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are energies that understand that realm? And what came out here, the High Priestess, the Three of Swords, and the King and, and the King here of Cups. Some divine connection here has happened. And it was protected the whole time. But maybe just when you just you can't see the forest for the trees, right? When you're in the midst of it, it doesn't feel like everything happens for a reason. It feels like, wow. You know, it feels like you're in the tennis ball court and the machine's on and you're just having ten tennis balls just being thrown at you, left, right and centre. The Nine of Cups. Death card. Those energies are being transmuted and alchemized into something now that is creating happiness. Like I said here, it's the, the situation by these people following their intuition. What has happened here is created this ten of cups with the six of um the six of cups underneath. You know, it's created something that has integrity, that has you know loyalty to it. The Wheel of Fortune, the star, yeah. This healing that has taken place is what was needed. That's what the universe was waiting for. That's what the universe needed to see was a level of drastic change. Two images there, three even with the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Wands, Two of Wands. Yeah, I knew to, like it's, it's like these people have found their strength and the universe is matching that energy because someone followed divine revelation, there's someone followed the signs and synchronicities and it's been a huge epiphany. That's why the Eight of Wands is here. Front and the, the ace of cups and the ten of pentacles this could literally speak about um because the ten is the full manifestation right so if this is the keta and this is what has come from the divine and this is perhaps the core of it with the ten of pentacles this can speak about a whole new structure a whole new mission even like, or a whole new view on what love looks like to create from this wisdom. For some of you out there, this could literally speak about marriage, maybe? 
because the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, you know, that can be seen as a priest energy, high priest, the Ace of Cups, you know, maybe that that's, could be for a small number of you, perhaps. And if it is, congratulations to you, Collective. Congratulations to you. Honestly, what a way to start the new year for you. I wish you all the best if that is you, Collective. Whether you're Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Higher Level Soulmate, or whatever. Yeah, I wish you all the happiness. So, over this side, seemingly we've got, you know, <laughs> not to sound cliche, but it looks like a happy ending. Right? Let's have a look on the left side. Let's have a look on what these people, what the outcome is for these people. The chariot. <laughs> the eight of cups. These people are being left behind at a rapid rate because their deceit is being seen. All of this that they did has been seen. So they're being left behind at a rapid rate. And indeed, if this is Hermes driving the chariot, right, this could literally be the universe storming in and these people are looking out in the horizon like, oh, maybe they're still even trying to, maybe they're still even doing water magics. Maybe they're still even trying to pull this off with the moon energy here. I remember earlier, they're trying to get this to rain down from above, right? They could still be trying to do that and the universe is like, right, pack it in, right? And the universe is charging in saying, well, no, just don't. Just, put, just sit down. Yeah, the Five of Swords, some sort of mental conflict. Maybe they thought with the Five of Swords there, especially in this deck, they were going to have some sort of psychic or spiritual awakening. The person is like, no. It, indeed, saying that, it could be they tried to steal somebody else's gifts, like somebody else's connection to the universe. The universe is like, no. We've got to stop to that. The Two of Wands here. Whatever they did is being cleansed. You see what I mean about water magics? They could still be doing this. It could also have something to do with a child. I'm not sure. But the Lord of Dominion here. This actually looks like a child in this one. This actually, that actually looks like a child. Like someone was guiding a child here. Like the dolphin with communication. Let me show you quickly. Someone was literally guiding a child. Or doing something like that. Weird. A queen of cups. Excuse me, a queen of pentacles. Strange how I said cups. Hmm. We've got this queen of pentacles here again. And this card has got children on it. Maybe they were trying to control, some, because the Dominion, maybe they were trying to control somebody with a child. Yeah. No, look at that. Yeah. Because the chariot here, it's not actually Hermes driving it. It's, it's the universe. There are no reins on it. So it could be they tried to, they were trying to manipulate someone's heart and emotions with a child and communicating whatever to this child. And they tried to have dominion over this emperor energy with a child. Because this, this card, the two of wands, is Aries in Mars, right? That's the full fire, that's full masculine energy. This is Aries energy, right? They were trying to slow this emperor down by appealing with a child. And it's this Queen of Pentacles. What am I going to call this reading? The Six of Pentacles here. With the Page of Pentacles. Because we have the Six of Pentacles here. They're like being left with one pentacle. They feel like they're going to be left in a state of lack. That like they're going to have to start over again or something like that. Why is, why is this in the back? This little Bambi. The 
something was shown here. Someone showed that something was received or shown. And with this Bambi looking down, it's something that was seen by others, like picked up by others. Yeah, like it's something that was sought out by others and now it's being seen somehow. Like the true, like a pentacle can speak about something literally in this realm. We've got the pentacle here. And earlier this pentacle was representative of money. It could be with the six of pentacles here as it was here that something's been returned. Because, yeah. Yeah, that's the tower. It's going to be a little bit of material gain here, the Nine of Pentacles, which is also self-actualization. But the first thing I saw with this was material gain. And the Tower. Two of Pentacles. And the Sun, yeah. This is going to lead to some sort of abundance for someone. And the Sun was hidden behind that one. So it's something that isn't being seen somehow. Who am I reading for? Oh my gosh. Spirits say put them with a nine. Okay. This King of Swords. It could be somebody, it could be a lawyer. Some this is a this is a truth seeker. So it could be a lawyer, an investigator, a detective. It could be somebody with an education in that sense, because you're not your true seeker, but your career you're consistently seeking knowledge to develop, right? No matter what your career path is. But no, like I said, something was shown here. You see here how the reflection of the sword here collective. It's like this is the reflection here as well. And you know, like they've discovered something. Yeah, they've discovered something. Two of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and it wanted to land out. It's something to do with this. It's something. It landed on this. This Ace of Pentacles in reverse that they tried to create, and with this, um, tried to do something with the wheel. It's, it's been unblocked. Let this wish fulfillment can now happen. And they will look at their own cups as being empty, perhaps. Knight of Swords, Two of Swords. Knight of Swords and Two of Swords. We just had the Two of Swords here. Why would this Knight of Swords be blocked? No. It's something that someone doesn't see coming. Is this communication that's coming? Is that something, it's something someone doesn't see coming, right? But this looks to me like dawn. And this looks like, it's almost like spring, you know, when spring first starts and you see things first start sprouting here. They kind of look like daffodils as well. I'm in Wales at the minute, and those sprout, um, you know, earlier in the year. There's something here, something that someone doesn't see coming. But the universe has got you. You can see these guides down here. So look at this hangman. Who am I reading for? This is nuts. Congratulations for some, commiserations for another. The Knight of Cups came out again. Someone's seen this from a higher mind, and this has been guided by the universe this whole time, whoever I'm reading for, right? I know we speak about divine ordinance all the time, but this is, this is nuts. I've never done a reading like this collective. There are two people over here who are going to be very, very happy. And there's a whole heap of people over here who are not happy, and are possibly about to get a lot unhappier. This is, 
I mean, I don't like always to give my opinion during readings, but this is, this is, this isn't just some convoluted BS, right? This is cold and it's calculated. There are no, there's no misdemeanor here, right? This is cold and it's calculated. Spell work, deceit, lust, and there's nothing wrong with worldly things. Let's not, I'm not getting all puritanical with you and saying, you know, you should live a life of chastity, right? Personally, I'm celibate, right? But that's my personal choice, right? I don't judge others. To have a healthy sex life even is healthy for you when we look at your inner fire energies, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you utilize it as a weapon, well, no, that's not good. Utilizing children as a weapon here, possibly. Who behaves like that? That's just abhorrent behavior. And it speaks of absolute desperation. When we look at the fool down here, right? The dog down here looks, the poor thing looks starving. It's almost like what these people were coming from such a state of lack that they thought, well, th th this, this is absolute greed is what I'm saying. There is enough abundance for everyone in the universe. That's the point, the law of abundance. Whatever you seek to achieve, the resources are there for you. In other words, just look for it. Everyone has gifts. Everyone has talents. And if these two have an entrepreneurial nature that was already with the king of wands and can create for themselves to share with the world, then what's the excuse of all these people? Why go to all of this effort to destroy the life of the, whoever I'm reading for? Remember I said with the, 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 the four of wands here in reverse, and it felt like because we had the two somewhere here, the two of wands, right, is Lord of Dominion. And it felt like they tried to do it for dominion, right? It's your own world. So it's like they tried to destroy the world of each of these people to keep them apart. That's a whole lot of effort. That's not something you can just say, yeah, no, sorry, we, um, this is kind of a mistake. It was an accident. No, 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 no. They tried to break down two people. You know, if, whoever I'm reading for, if you want to put a comment, and whether, you know, if it's negative, or positive, you put your comments down there. You want to put negative comments in there, you do that. What? Ooh, you can type behind a keyboard, or maybe they're positive, and you want to, or maybe it's neutral, you want to share. Well, you want to, if this is your situation collective, let's hear it. But for people to behave like this, 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 this corrupt wife or mother who got involved here to block this emperor even, you know, what on earth are we looking at here? <laughs> it's almost laughable if it didn't almost destroy two people's lives. Whoever I'm reading for, I can somewhat relate to part of this, you know? There are some things even that we don't know. Oh, the stark realization of that what if some of this is part of my story? Who knows? I don't pry into other people's business. I just mind my own. And it seems like that's what this side of things, what they were doing anyway. And all of these wanted to get their two cents in and get their all in other people's business. Trying to make people feel uncomfortable and trying to make them feel out of sorts and control them with lust and control them with magic and control them with this and that and try every tact they could in the book. Moon magics, water magics, initiating people here, just taking on extra people, you know, oh my gosh, trying to send all manner of fire, it could be blood rituals, we've got sex magics here, you know, like, what? This isn't just greed, this is absolute desperation. The word that just came to mind is bottom feeder. Like bottom feeding gold diggers. Jesus, right. Anyway, right, we're going to get the Angels of Atlantis and we're going to see. Let's 
have a look. Trust and security. Whoever's seen this, I, this feels like I'm beginnings. Like we just said, here a new beginning on this side. So I'm taking it that this message pertains to this divine feminine, divine masculine on this side. This masculine doesn't even feel like they belong over here. Anymore. <laughs> it's like this energy saying, beat me up, Scotty. Get me out of here. Right. If this is whoever I'm reading for, these three angels can speak about care, self, and what we don't see coming. So just trust in the fact that the universe has got you here. This uh, flower of the universe, you know, that everything happened for a reason. All of this links together beautifully. Like you are protected, you're connected to the divine here. It's not to say there's nothing for you to worry about, because that can lead to, you know, just maybe having a frivolous mindset. Not at all, right? Just keep to yourself, keep doing what you're doing, trust in the universe that indeed, if you can see that far out on these high peaks here, then you're higher up than that, right? If you want to look at it. So you trust the universe to get to this point, keep on going. Listen to your inner wisdom, your higher wisdom. Right? And well done to these entities on this side for making it through this. On this side, I won't pass any comment. I've already said enough about this. I just want to get this out there as well. If these people tried in some way to silence people, like because this, this apathy here tried to leave them in this state where they didn't have any energy and it would leave them silent, that's insidious. No wonder this emperor's over here with their mouth open like this, being guided by the universe, right towards this new beginning. And even if it's not, if, it, if it's a newfound sense of self, right? Because the fool over here with this healed heart underneath or healing. What a crazy reading. Nonetheless, if you have enjoyed this reading collective, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. And Happy New Year if you've seen this um, at the beginning of 2024. I wish you a happy, healthy and prosperous New Year. And as always, collective, please take care of yourselves.